everything else, it learns to attack that protein, and it also learns to attack similar proteins that are in the nerves or in the thyroid or in the various parts of our body. That's called autoimmunity. It's a confusion. The immune system is confused. It, it thinks that the thyroid is a hamburger, or it thinks that the, the nerves are soy. It thinks that the various parts of our body are food. And indeed, from a chemical perspective, the proteins in your thyroid are the exact same as the proteins in food. So it's, it's very understandable that a hypersensitized immune system will attack both food and attack parts of the body, which is why the first thing to do with an autoimmune disease, and I don't care what it is, is look to food and digestion. In fact, with multiple sclerosis, even WebMD, no fan of the bright side, I'm sure, certainly no fan of alternative medicine. WebMD is run by the medical model, run by the mainstream physicians and, and, and medical professionals. Even WebMD says fasting can eliminate or reduce the symptoms of mus multiple sclerosis. Now, what is that about? Why would fasting improve an autoimmune issue? Well, clearly... If you understand the mechanism of autoimmunity, clearly when you don't have food for the immune system to attack, it's not going to be attacking your nerves either. So I'm not telling you you're going to fast your entire life. Obviously, you need to eat, but I'm just saying this to show you how powerful the food connection is when it comes to autoimmunity. This is so tragic because of the tens of millions of Americans who are dealing with autoimmune issues of all kinds. And they're getting steroid drugs and immune suppressants, the most horrible medications, methotrexate, prednisone, disastrous, horrible, ugly medicines, and nothing's helping. So what you want to do first is eliminate the problem foods. That means most especially going to be grains and dairy, but it could be anything. Soy, legumes, beans, peanuts, eggs. It could be anything. You don't know what it is. If it's a problem, if it causes a digestive problem, that's a food that needs to be eliminated. Secondly... You want to make sure you're getting your fat-soluble fatty nutrients. That's vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day. Vitamin E, 400 international units a day. Vitamin D is stupendously important for the immune system. The best way to get vitamin D is from the sun. Uh, no matter what you hear from your dermatologist, vitamin D from the sun is much more powerful for the body and much more effective in the body than any supplemental vitamin D. If you don't want to get that or you don't live where you can get a lot of sun, you can use a sun lamp or you can supplement with 5,000 or so IU of vitamin D3. You can use a, a fish oil and organ meats to get your vitamin D as well. Uh, the, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is also very helpful. The B vitamins in general are very helpful. I'd be using high doses of vitamin C for all immune problems. Uh, the Ultimate Selenium from Longevity is also important, maybe 400 to 600 micrograms a day. You might want to consider NAC, which we spent a lot of time talking about the last couple of days, and acetylcysteine, maybe 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. And I'd be using the Osteomag product, making sure I was getting around 1,000 milligrams of magnesium every day as well. There's tons more, Rod, tons more that you could do. But if you just do what I told you, uh, is it for you or is it for a friend? For a friend. If, you, if she just does, it's usually it's women who have MS, by the way. I mean, autoimmune diseases in general affect women way more than men. Uh, oh, by the way, progesterone cream and pregnenolone, those can also help with autoimmune issues, especially MS. Progesterone cream or 120, 100 to 200 milligrams of preg, pregnenolone a day. That's P-R-E-G. N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E. -E. That can also be helpful. Uh, if you do even 90%, 80% of what I just talked about, you're going to notice, your friend will notice dramatic changes in her multiple sclerosis symptoms. Nobody has to deal with any autoimmune disease if they really want to take, uh, take the bull by their horns and start to control their lives, uh, their lifestyle, and uh, the kind of foods and nutritional supplements they, the kind of foods they eat and nutritional supplements they take. Rod, I've got to move on, buddy. I hope I helped and you out. About, uh, one more thing. How about sure. uh, iodine or sulfur? They're all great, but... They're uh, wonderful, but they're not. Pro they're not. They're not first. They're not uh, on the A list. They're very important. I'm not. To, don't mean to marginalize the importance of iodine or of uh, what was the other thing you said? Of uh, sulfur, of MSM. They're both very, very, very important. NAC will get you some sulfur, but they're not first order of business. Everything I told you is uh, those are the A list and uh, iodine and, and MSM. While they're important, they don't make the A list for dealing with MS. Thanks so much, Rod. Appreciate it. God bless, bro. Okay, Pat in Texas. Got a couple minutes here. What's going on? Actually, got about a minute, Pat. What's cooking? I've got a chemical burn. My face is itching. Everything I put on it hurts. Okay, hang tight. Um, I want to know what to do. 
Okay, number one, go get yourself some fatty vitamin C. Uh, send me an email, ben at ksco.com, and I'll send you a link for fatty vitamin C. Very, very helpful for all burns, but it has to be a fatty form of vitamin C. You're not going to find it in any stores. Send me a link. Say Pat from Texas. Secondly, get uh, uh, on 800 IU a day of vitamin E. Uh, 400 IU is a standard dose, but when you have a burn or you're healing from something, you want to double that. And in conjunction with the vitamin E, you want to make sure you're taking 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. And absolutely. Absolutely positively, you want to be sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day. Make sure that you're getting protein, especially the amino acid arginine. This is, and by the way, I'm not just talking to Pat here, you guys. Anybody who's healing from anything, especially burns, these are all very effective recommendations for all healing. Vitamin E, uh, vitamin C, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and then protein in general, but specifically arginine. Arginine is actually used in hospitals to help heal burns. Uh, you can get arginine as a standalone nutritional supplement, arginine powder, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. It doesn't taste very good, so make sure you put it in a smoothie, where you might want to use capsules, even though they're a little bit expensive. Glutamine powder is also important for wound healing of all kinds, especially burns, maybe 5 grams a day, a teaspoonful of glutamine. I was talking uh, before we went to break how I like the glutamine powder more than I like the glutamine capsules. So use glutamine powder, and that will help accelerate healing. Don't forget about essential fatty acids as well. Those can have a beneficial effect on healing, as can the mineral zinc. The skin's most important mineral, 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. Whenever you're taking zinc, you want to balance that out with a little bit of copper as well. And I know I went really fast there, Pat, but you can always review uh, You can always review the advice we give on the Bright Side at brightsideben.com and check out our archive page. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. And that's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the toxic form of cystic and what you can do to lower it, the three very simple vitamins, very inexpensive vitamins that you could do to lower homocysteine as well as your risk for heart disease. Thanks so much for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. The TalkStream Live app for iPhone, iPad, and Android is the fastest and easiest way to access live talk radio anytime, anywhere. Download the free TalkStream Live app right now and see for yourself. You'll enjoy instant access to the best in live talk radio. Find your favorite shows and discover some new ones. The TalkStream Live app is available in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or visit TalkStreamLive.com. That's TalkStreamLive.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com.